In this video, we're going to talk about your website's hero section. What is it? What function does it serve? And what are some tips for maximizing its effectiveness? All right, so first off, what is a hero section? The hero section, or sometimes people refer to this as the section of your website that's above the fold, is that top part of your website that people first see when they open up your site. So usually it's that part of the website that fits right into the browser, it's that first impression. So what function does the hero section serve? Well, first and foremost, it's the attention grabber. People have a really short attention span and make gut reaction decisions very, very quickly. So the hero section really instantaneously sets a tone for your business and your website, calls out what your business does, grabs attention, entices people to read through your website further, and also has some sort of call to action as far as what they should do next, whether it's keep reading, click to buy something, get in touch, whatever that appropriate call to action is. So the hero section is incredibly important for either having customers or potential customers keep reading and engaging with the website or bailing and leaving and going to one of your competitors' websites instead. So with that said, let's talk about how to really maximize that hero section and talk through some tips and things to think about to really get the most out of that first impression on your website. So first of all, it goes without saying there's lots of ways to create an engaging hero section. One of the most common ways though is to use a really compelling photo or video. The saying is cliche that a picture is worth a thousand words, but this is totally true for your website also. A picture can evoke what your business is all about, whether literally showing your products or services, giving context, creating a vibe or atmosphere, or another way of communicating what your business is all about and drawing that website visitor in to keep reading more. In an ideal world, you'd have a photographer or videographer create some really custom, nice looking photos or videos that you could use in your hero section. But in lieu of that, fortunately, there's some really good options you can buy really good stock photography online, or if you just Google free stock images, you can often find really good photography that'll work great for your website as well. And keep in mind, although stock photography has become kind of a cliche for corny or stage photos, that's not always the case. While there are plenty of those corny photos out there, there's lots of really good stuff out there. A lot of times that's free as well. Really good photos for your hero section could take one of several different forms. So let's say, for example, your business makes lawnmowers. You could first off have a really nice photo of the actual lawnmower itself showing off the product. Or alternatively, you could have a photo showing the context of how your photo is used. So instead of the lawnmower photo with like a white background, for example, you could show a picture of somebody mowing a lawn using that lawnmower. Or third, as another option, instead of literally showing the product or service or how it's used, you could focus on the benefits that someone will derive from using your product. So using the lawnmower example, you could show a picture of a really nicely mowed, clean, lush, green lawn that people will understand if you use your lawnmower, people can expect and anticipate that benefit. Or going a totally different direction, you don't necessarily need to show your product or service or the benefits. Maybe you wanna set a tone or set a vibe or evoke emotion. So in that case, you might wanna use something relevant that still isn't too far off from your product or service, but evokes some sort of emotion, whether it's innovation or patriotism or happiness or love, whatever those are, you can use a good photo that evokes those sorts of emotions you want people to have with your brand. A few things to keep in mind though when choosing the right photo. First off, you wanna make sure it's not too busy. You wanna make sure there's a little bit of quieter space where you can put some text or some buttons over top where they won't conflict with the core parts of that photo. And color-wise, you wanna make sure the overall color palette of the photo meshes with your brand and the color you're using as well. So for example, if you have a very bright and vibrant website, you probably don't wanna go with a black and white photo or vice versa, just for examples. Now that you've got a really great photo for your hero section, the next thing to think about is what's that headline? Now a faux pas that a lot of people unfortunately use for their hero section is using cliche terms like number one or innovative or cloud-based. You want to make sure that your headline is really clear and concise and demonstrates 
really quickly to your website visitor what you do and how you're going to add unique value to their lives. And then right below the header, if you want to add a subheading to elaborate more on that, great. But again, keep it really clear, really concise, and focus on what makes you unique because you want to make sure people don't bail and leave your website. You want to make sure they see what you do, why it's relevant to them, and why they should keep reading on. So then last, the final key to a really effective hero section is a very clear call to action or CTA. You've got to make it really clear on what someone should do next. So if all things have gone well so far, you've got a great compelling photo, people are engaged, they get what you're all about, how you're unique, you've got to direct them on what to do next. Should they keep reading? Is there an arrow pointing down to encourage them to scroll further and learn more? Is there a contact now button or a sign up button or shop button? Whatever that is, you've got to make really clear what that visitor should do next. And then finally, let's give one last tip. If you want to add this to your hero section, this is great. If you have testimonials, reviews, some other way to add credibility and social proof to your business, that's great. Now, one thing to keep in mind, we don't want to overcrowd our hero section. We want to be very clear, very concise, and lead to that call to action. But social proof is really important. So if not in your hero section early on, you want to start building that trust and people trust other folks. So if you can bake in to your hero section some sort of reviews or testimonials, something like that to help assure a website visitor that other people think your business is really good, that's great. Okay, so there you go, some quick tips on what a hero section is, why it's important, and how to make it really effective. Hope this has been helpful, but of course, if our team and buddy can be any resource for you, feel free to let us know and get in touch. No pressure, no obligation. If you'd like to learn more about our team, you can visit our website, of course, at www.buddywdd.com. And if you think we might be able to help with your website or some other project, feel free to get in touch. You can get in touch by clicking on the button in the upper right-hand corner of our homepage, answer a few questions to let us know what you've got in mind, and we'll follow up with you right away. So as always, hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching, and talk to you again real soon.